Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XV. Okay, as you can see, Noctis is dirty as shit, and uh, I'm really kind of... I wouldn't say I'm hooked to the game, but it is a really nice game to play when you want to kill time. So, like, I have more AP, I've got even more experience, and I also have... I've done a bit of fishing... Um, can't remember what else I did. I did a fair amount of stuff. Oh yeah, ran all the way to here and discovered a dungeon. Can't remember why I ran over here. Oh, yeah I can. Because the timed quest the last time I... I don't even think it was on recording. But the last time I played the game there was a timed quest that took place like right around here and it was to kill a bunch of... like Sab is it Saber Tail? Sapphire Tails? And Reaper Kings? Something like that. There were the Scorpion things. And so I did that a bunch of times which is how I have 45,000 XP because it required it gave you about five grand each time, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I've also like s leveled up the chocobos. I don't think I've leveled them up all that much, but I've definitely leveled them up. So if I go on my chocobo, Let's go. yeah, my chocobo is level seven. I think the last time I played, my chocobo level was at five. It was either at level four or level five. I don't know why I placed down a marker. First thing I want to do is go back to Hammerhead because it's an enemy that I haven't fought and I really want to. I fought off screen but I want to fight it on screen because it's a really cool thing to kill. And if I go to my junk, or treasures more so, you'll notice that I do actually have, you can see how much I did it. Off the Reaper Kings is where you get the big, or the big scorpion stinger. And yeah, as you can see, I've got 50 of those and 57 of those. So I've got a lot of money. I also got curl whiskers. That's another thing. I need to go back for. Is it the drain lens? I can't quite remember. Either way, get rid of that. Thank you kindly. Get rid of all these. I really wish there was a quicker way of getting rid of all this stuff. Actually, maybe you can use like. Yeah, I'm just trying to hit any button. So we got more of the Trevally scales. Sharp bone. What else did I get? I know I caught a bunch of fish, but I can't remember what they did. Hmm. Get rid of the fossil wood. I still don't know what the point in that is. Got 18 of those. 36 gil. Oh yeah. Pardon me. Oh yeah, Vartooth bristles. They're just enemies I fought when I was making my way over to where the... Um... To where the timed quest was. And the timed quest for this... Or for today. For like the next six hours, I suppose. Is to do with curls. And getting... Oh, curls and elder curls, so I might try it, but I've no idea. They might be a bit too much for me. We'll see. Alright, so scorpion stinger. The big scorpion stinger. Well, there we go. I got f uh, 140,000. A giant feather, and I don't remember what I got that from. A black feather from an enormous zoo. Appreciated for being as strong as it is light. Has some value and could fetch a decent price. And we also got monster claws, but I don't know what I got them from either. Same with the slimy- oh no, that was from the, um, the toad. I can't remember what it's called. To Gigantoad. Don't know how I could forget. And of course, I do want to rest at Golden Key. It's just a matter of... I think I might do some quests. What do we actually have access to? I mostly want to get to level 50 so I can do this. <laughs> More than anything. Reliable royalty. Oh, right, yeah, okay, I need to go over there. Oh, that was another thing that happened. I don't know how, but the photo op when we was driving, for some reason, it got activated. It was prompt to have sat on the back of the car, or the back of his chair, and basically just turned to Noctis and say, could I get a picture of this? I'm only doing this while I'm on the chocobo, because it's easier than going in the car and setting a destination and all that crap. I don't exactly know where he wants us to be. Oh yeah, that was another thing. I bought two, two things, or unlocked two things in the Ascension Grid, which is getting experience and AP from long chocobo rides. There we go. I just figured, because I wanted to, I wanted to use the chocobo. It's like I rode the chocobo all the way to the timed quest and all the way back to Hammerhead. Honestly, it doesn't take as long as you'd think. Right, the photo up. Oh, damn. Ching. Oh, wait! Isn't not just going to be dirty as shit? Uh, 
let me get this shot. Ah, uh, you can't really tell. <laughs> you totally can. Save it. Yay! Oh, love the lighting. God, you say that all the time. Love the lighting. Where's me chocobar? It seriously disappeared. What a douche. Da -da -da. But the, the, I'd say the worst part about doing so much off-screen stuff, I don't really mind about getting loads of experience and getting up to a ridiculously high level in Chapter 3. Like, that doesn't bug me at all. The only thing that bugs me is the fact if I'm doing like things off screen and not just starts to get dirty, it really starts to bug me. But I can't rest at camp and I can't rest at a hotel because it will get us experience. And I don't want to do or make it look like I'm leveling my characters up loads off screen. It's purely because the game's just really fun to play when I've got time to kill or when I just want to kill time. For reasons like waiting for a thing to render, if I'm just watching something. Okay. Woohoo! I also realise how useful that is for getting around. If you press it at just the right time. I don't know why he keeps attacking in midair. Probably because I'm sprinting. Or trying to. Stasis! Oh, we're nearly there. I don't even know. How much does that cost? 30 X, uh, XP. 30 MP. I think. Oh, I can't even use the sword. Alrighty. Um, right, yeah, I want to go to Hammerhead. I, I need to go there for multiple things anyway. Right, so the parking spot. Uh, Hammerhead. Would you like to fast travel? Of course. There's actually quite a lot of stuff that we could do. Like, go to the Chocobo Post. There's um a place nearby there where we have a side quest. There's all these dungeons, which for the most part are probably like level 40 plus. Probably more so level 50 plus. I mean, the Baloove Mines are level 50. Then you've got... I can't remember what the other place is called, but it's a level 55. So, yeah. Kind of a pain, really. <laughs> I don't know, it's ever since I went into Baloove Mines and found out it was level 50, it's just... It's kind of been my goal to work towards. I don't really care for the experience it will give. It doesn't really bother me. That does remind me, though. Oh, that's the Chocobo post. Balls. That makes it a bit of an annoyance. Yeah, I'm not driving to the Chocobo post. Ask around a little. It's up to knocked. Okie smokes. City boy. Whoa. Oh yeah, we got new stuff. Is there nothing you you let well and pick up? So what have we got this time? A bit of circular saw. Sky gem stone. Stone. Oh, I'd actually gotten that before, but I never spoke to Sid. It was in the session that screwed up because of my audio being terrible. There it is. All right, I give you a call when it's ready. <laughs> I like how he says that. Oh, all right. Off. Ah, y'all brace yourself for power. Okay, thanks. I guess. Ba -da -da. Right, so what other quest quests? What other quests do I have? We've got Pilgrimage, which is to go over to there. That's the level 55. Everyone loves beans. I thought it said bears. The Regal Regalia. Uh, not Regal. The Valorous Regalia. Reliable Royalty. We don't actually have it that many. But, I mean, I'm saying that, but we've not even been to Lestalem, where I know for a fact there'll be a bunch more quests. We've also not been to here, where there's more quests. And we've not been here, where there's another quest. The, the game world is absolutely huge and it's it's not really dis disheartening or anything it's just one of those things that you don't realize and then you're like holy crap this game has a lot to it oh yeah i wanted to i can't use my sword i want a warp strike just because it's super useful yeah he's got the one where he wants me to get beans talk so how's it going boys that's going good i can tell you all about the area back to area Oh yeah, do we have any new hunts? These nasties here oh god, we do! In the rear. Oh yeah! Perfect. Order away. I guess I'll do those too. Uh... Wait, Laden Jamb Jambalaya. HP by 200. Yeah, sure. I would like the ones that give experience bonuses. I think as soon as... Oh yeah, here it comes. I was gonna say, as soon as Ignis learns 
how to make the food that gives experience bonuses, that's when I'll start to use camp more, but that's not really true. Because we do have that. We have the... the thing. Wait. Stars 3. I need to be ranked 4, don't I? Yep. Son of a bitch. Wild beauties and bounty hunted beauties. Oh, they're the same. So that's an Anaklaban. And that's an Anakadom and an Anak. Oh. Okay, so both are during the daytime. I mean, I need it to be daytime anyway. Are both of these in the Weaver Wilds? Oh no. Weaver Wild. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. Hooray! Very nice. Indeed. But from what I've, like, fought before, it's called the Bandersnatch. And it's actually, we haven't encountered it, I never fought it because it looked terrifying. And so I kind of had the idea to not bother with it. Crap. Should really not hold down the right trigger. I just wish the sprint button, like without clicking in the left stick, was a different button. There we go. Right now I'll just sprint. It's really useful for getting far away though. Or just traveling a large distance. Oh. God, that noise is weird. I just need to make sure I'm careful and don't click the camp, camp. I don't want to camp, because if I camp, I don't get double XP. Which is what I want more than anything. There we go. It is morning time. How am I doing for... Uh, flasks? I hadn't even thought about it. I've got fire air. Oh, shit. Okay. Might as well make Thundaga. Ding ding! At Thundara, even. Oh yeah, boom! And Blizzara. I just really like to use Elementy. I never used to. Like when I first played the game, magic was something I barely used. I don't know, I think to begin with, I didn't really like the new system. In that you couldn't... Or you didn't use magic, or MP, to cast magic. It was all based on these elemental flasks and that magic was actually just a usable item. It, to me, it was very weird. Not necessarily a bad thing, it's just one of those things that I didn't exactly adjust to. But this time around, I've actually really enjoyed it. Mostly from, like, just how the spells look. They look incredible. I've also realized I should be using the Chocobos. But whatever. Either way, is the Bandersnatch in here? I can't quite remember. No. What the hell is that thing? If I... Oh. It's there, that's why. Whoops. Yeah, it's... It's an enemy that makes a lot of noise. Wait. What was that? Oh, no! I didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, Reaper Tails. Yeah, these were the thing we had to fight for the time quest. Speaking of which, I do need to remember about that. Yep. And the final one... Ding! Will I get a different grade? Oh no, I think I didn't because I ran away. Oh, That would have been a really easy... Oh god. No, that would have been really easy AP. But it's because I'm in a rush. Well, not really, but I really want to fight the Bandersnatch. There it is! The music just makes it sound ominous. Like, the music just completely dies. Wait a minute. Are we being chased? By these bloody things? Are you serious? Wait, what? The phone two link strikes. Uh, sorry, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, if I attack it from the back, probably. Maybe not. Ba -bum, ba -bum. What? Oh, I killed it. Oh, there we go. Did I? I seriously did. I don't get how. That was the last enemy, too. I am surprised. I really want to hear this thing make its, like, usual cry. Ugh. Wait, there's a saber test down there? Are you kidding me? Hey. Oh! 
God damn. Yeah, it's definitely a one hell of a foe. But if you just keep doing long range warp strikes, it always knocks it on its ass. Also, do I have... I do! Dawn Hammer! Nice. But the thing is pretty damn powerful. Like, I'm not denying that. Does a couple hundred damage. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. And when you end up doing cross chains, the thing is practically dead. Just need to be very careful that I don't screw this up. And again... Oh yeah! I didn't know what to make of the cross chains to begin with, but it's so badass! And dead. Owned! Oh, that's what kept giving me the monster claw. And there we go. That's another 2000 XP. Your ego is what amazes me. Frankly, I'm just amazed we actually made it. I mean, to be fair, I've killed like three or four of those now. So, it's really not a big deal. The first time you go against it, obviously, if you don't know what it's like, then it's kind of a bit... You know, it's a bit more like, oh dear, I should be very careful, I don't want to die. I'm pretty sure that I ended up getting a few new recipes as Let's well, go. because as I was going around the world, I stopped to pick up ingredients. It was only like two or three. One was to do with an orange, I think. But to be fair, it's kind of hard to remember. Either way. Wait, so this is the level 28 one, isn't it? I don't want to do that one first. I want to do that one first. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Alright. So I'm just trying to think. I'm doing the hunts here. I don't know if there's any... anywhere else. I should really have a look around at Golden Key. Alright. And to be fair, getting the experience for riding is not honestly that great. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Like, I got it, and then when it... When I started to realize how much I get, I'm like, oh. Well, this was a bit pointless. Also, this should work out. This is probably one of the, the most the fun things to do. Pretty sure it's Thundara. Assuming I don't screw it up. It's quite easy to screw up, though. If you let them grab a hold of you. And... boom. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It worked. That's why I love it. Because they're so easy. Where did me chocobo go? Oh, and another thing the chocobo can do is... I, I can't remember what it's called exactly, but it's like dance to chocobo or something. Easy now. And it's... I can't remember what it does exactly. It buffs up your entire party. Which is essentially the long and short of it. Alrighty. And before I start doing Chocobo races, I definitely want to get my Chocobo up to the highest level. Owned! Wow, I did not realize. Ah! Oh my god, the Chocobo actually killed it. I got nothing but Ds though. What a damn shame. I did not expect the Chocobo to attack. Ah, oh, that was too good. I didn't even think I could go on top of these. Woohoo! Top of the world! But it's going to take a while to actually get the Chocobo to level 10, I think. We're at level 7. To get to level 8, I think it's like 20 minutes of riding. It might have changed, to be honest. They might have made it require a longer amount of time. I'm not entirely sure. But to be fair, I use the Chocobos pretty damn often. So getting to level 10 shouldn't really be that much of an issue. It should be fairly easy. All things considered. Alright. So what the hell are these things? It's essentially just the big giraffe things. Yeah, I've killed them before. Although these are hunt ones, so they'll be quite a bit tougher. Is that a Mesmanir? There's a bunch of them, actually. Wait, this... No, this isn't them. I thought it was. God, why did I even attack? Wow, without... 
If I don't actually hit them with a link, uh, not link strike, with a warp strike, they have a surprising amount of health. But ah, they don't like great swords. Or daggers, and they're also weak to fire. Huh. Good to know. Wait, are the hunt. Right. It did specify daytime, right? Yeah, I'm certain of it. So where are they? Maybe it's because of the Mesmeneers. They spawned instead or something. Wait, so what's here? Quality building stone! My only other idea if, if it's not going to be here. Oh, never mind. Oh, God. These things are, are very tough, I can already tell. I mean, they might only be level... Ooh. Okay, cool. They might only be level 22, but they have a lot of health. Which is something I can tell. Alright. I really need to get the thing that allows Noctis to... Dodge when in midair, or block when in midair. So I don't quite have that at the moment. Oh dear, I just got a boot to the face. Right, I think one's down. Oh, that's such a cool looking attack. I love it. Wait, we can actually do Dawn Hammer. Do it. Dawn Hammer is like one of my favorite techniques because of how goddamn powerful it is. Only downside is it does require two blocks, as opposed to just the one. I wonder. Hang on. Because I can actually attack their head. Okay. It seems it didn't really do much. Whew. Keep getting blindsides. I don't even know what the hell hit me then. Getting by. I never even realised. No, that I can walk up there. I kind of wish I had. Oh! Yeah, do it. Woohoo! Oh, nice, it hit both of them. Ho oh ho! Now I'm prompto. I don't actually know who linked. What the hell is with the weather? It's like very, very, uh, dusty. Oh god. I'm surprised I managed to parry. There we go, we got it. So, an Anak Fetlock. And, boom. We got it. Oh! I only care if it's 400 XP. What has happened to the weather? Like, I can't even see. Not really. Lap of luxury, here we come. Easy, big spender. Frugality, please. <laughs> we do actually have quite a bit of money. Uh, I've also gained 46 AP. I'm... Honestly, I think with AAP, I'm gonna save until I can get 333, which honestly isn't much. I need 57 AP, and then I can increase HP of each party member by 10 times the number of levels gained. So... That's only gonna increase it by a small amount, though. Like 390, and then just by 10 health each level. Is there? Oh my god, really? Something. Okay. Palpable pain. This is also a really easy side quest. I don't mind these, I can see you. <laughs> god, I can only imagine people getting stuck on this. Where are they? I still think the hardest one is the first person that cries out. It's when you're near a a bunch of rocks, and he's hidden behind some rocks, or among the rocks. That was one of the hardest ones I I'd ever done. I can't thank you enough. It just took me forever to bloody finish it. It was well stupid. Done. Nice. All right, nearly 50k. Woohoo! Oh yeah, and that was another thing. I keep coming up with no another thing. No, it was one thing I realised when it came to the timed quest is that you can't keep repeating the same one, which. Obviously should have been a given, but I'm an idiot, so it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, you can't just keep doing the same quest and get the QP. 
Which makes complete sense when you actually think about it. Because otherwise you'd be able to just get everything that's on the list of rewards. The entire reason they have the rewards is it's to entice people to come back each day to do the time quest. No. Oh. Yeah, let me get these. I have no idea how good I'm doing for ingredients, but I would probably say I'm doing pretty good. I mean, we get quite a lot of ingredients from enemies. And then all the ones that I find out in the field. Oh, I can see an Anak. Are they my hunts? Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -doo. They are not. But I will kill them, because I am a dick. So why not? Oh! Oh god, that was lucky. Wait, kill the car first. Then it's a terrible, terrible thing. I don't know why I keep warp striking the head, but it seems to work. Oh dear. Right, the stag. It's down, I think. There we are. Oh, man. Alright. I got very lucky. I just noticed it the, a split second before. Jeez. Yeah, these things do not stand a chance. I mean, they are only level 9, so I don't know what I was expecting. Too bad. Keep jumping. But I felt kind of bad taking those things down. You're not alone. But out in the wild, it's kill or be killed. be killed. And personally, I prefer the former. There we are. I wonder. Are these weak to anything? We're in the money. We're in the money. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with Blizzara. Yeah, because it's one of those that damages over time. How do I equip their abilities? That's how. Right, so he's got Dawnhammer at level 50. At uh, level 3. Critical rate 8%. It's the only thing is it only depletes it by 1. If anything, I need to change his from Starshell. Starshell's incredibly useful at night. But... Wait, what the hell's that? He always gets a crit. Oh! I didn't realise. Oh! Seems I didn't really do all that much. What the hell? Oh! Okay. Them things are a bit more of a pen. Yeah, the red breeds. Oh, jeez. 600. Yeah, do Dawn Hammer off. Something. I'm trying to take out the Annex. Whew. Because they appear to be the pain. Or the issue. Right, come on. I'm surprised I haven't done a blindside, because I was attacking it from behind. I can't. Ah, oh, God. Let me dodge. I thought these things would be such a formidable foe. But it seems that they are. Um, yeah, I'll do it again. I don't want to do it on this one. Ah, oh, dear. I mean, I'm either... F I'm guessing they're either weak to... Great Swords. Or they don't like fire, so I'm pretty sure the weapon he's using is a fire weapon. How did I miss? Because it bowed its head to attack. What a douche. Oh, there we go. That one's down. Yes, shoot it, please. Pew! Nice! So it's just a matter of taking these out. I don't like how close I am. Between two of them. And also that I can get attacked through the other enemies. Kind of baloney. Hey, parried! That's what I said, I don't even know what's happening. Shoot him again! They have a lot of health. Wait, did I kill one of them? Oh no, I broke the antlers, I think. Oh dear. That's what happens when I'm wa uh, warp striking the wrong one. There, one down. Oh dear.
Oh, there we go. I'm not entirely sure what the, the shields are like. It's not doing critical damage. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it doesn't light the spear, it would appear. Well, that works. Keep going! Only downside to the spear is it doesn't have the charge up that Ragnarok does. That's what I really like about Ragnarok. Can you stop running away? You douche. There we go, we got it. So why is it I've got Ignis to do? Right, he still has Mark. Okay, good. Oh! And I broke it. Oh man. Wait, I want to use Dawnhammer. This is going to be one of those that's just not going to hit, isn't it? Oh, god, I knew it. It was just because I had a feeling it was going to jump away. It seems it did. Oh, Jesus. That looked like that did 22,000. I know for a fact it didn't. These things were definitely one hell of a... Defeat. There we go, we got them. And they gave 700 experience. Who boy. So, uh, 